let's explore the change in enthalpy with chemical change. When we have a chemical change or a chemical reaction, we consider that reaction our system. And our system will change with heat coming into or out of the system. Because the change in enthalpy has been defined as the heat flow into or out of the system at constant pressure, we can then quantify the change in enthalpy for given chemical changes. For example, if we think about um, a model where we have energy increasing on this axis and the reaction is proceeding along this path, we call it the reaction path. Um, it can be considered time um, or reaction coordinate. All of those uh, words are used, but we're thinking about the forward progression of a reaction in this direction. And in this case, let's take a look at this particular reaction. It's the combustion of methanol. It's methanol. Um, in oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water and we see in this case our product is also heat and when heat is given off we would expect um, the Q in this case would be quantified and when heat is given off we would consider that an exothermic change and Q would have a negative value and the reason why is because our reactants are starting at a higher potential energy and ending at a lower potential energy. So this energy difference between reactants and products has to go somewhere and it goes into heat. And so we'd say heat is released from the system. The change in the energy, in this case that we're defining as the enthalpy, is a negative change. So the um, value here would have a negative number because our energy change is um, getting lower from reactants to products. This is how we think about where the heat energy is coming from, for example, from a combustion reaction. It's a change in the energy of our system, which is this um, burning of methanol and oxygen. Now, when we talk about the change in heat energy, with um, a chemical change, we call that a thermochemical equation. So it's when we articulate the chemical change together with the corresponding change in enthalpy. And sometimes, um, as in the case of the previous example, the value says plus heat um, on the product side. And so you would just put uh, the number, whatever the uh, change in enthalpy is here for the heat for this particular uh, reaction as written. We know that the value is a negative value, but if you're adding it to the product side, you just put the um, absolute value there. Um, in this case, when we write a thermochemical equation in this way, we have the reactants. In this case, it's methanol burning in oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. So it's the combustion of methanol. And then written over in another column is the change in enthalpy. It didn't say plus 890 kilojoules, but I know uh, by the way it's written here that this is um, an exothermic change and this heat would be a product if I would have written it um, in the alternative form, which would have been uh, like this. Uh, methane plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water plus 890 kilojoules. That's telling me that heat is given off as a product, and the change is uh, the energy of the system is higher here and lower here because this much heat energy is given off. So either way is acceptable. You just have to know what this um, means. If the 890 appears on the product side, it's exothermic and written in a separate tabular format, you would give the negative sign uh, for that particular value. Also, for a thermochemical uh, reaction, notice this is negative 890 kilojoules per mole reaction. And that means that this much energy is given off for uh, the burning of one mole of methane in the presence of two moles of oxygen. It's for this particular reaction. Um, and this one, uh, it's the exact same chemical change. We've just balanced it differently. We've gone through and multiplied every coefficient by two. So instead of burning one mole, uh, per mole reaction. In this case, we're burning two moles uh, per mole reaction. And you see the corresponding change in enthalpy is doubled here. So this um, value for the change in enthalpy is per mole reaction how the reaction is written. Okay, so it's if you're going to double the reaction, you need to double the change in enthalpy. Finally, if you write your thermochemical equation, in this case, it's just uh, writing the products first, carbon dioxide plus water gives uh, methane plus oxygen. It's the uh, reverse reaction. 
In this case, uh, in order for this reaction to go, um, the, you would change the sign for the uh, change in enthalpy, which means that this is now a reactant, not a product. And so it would be 890 kilojoules plus carbon dioxide plus water gives methane plus oxygen. And you can think about the first reaction up there where we have the burning of <clears throat> methane. In this case, because heat is given off, if this is your reaction path <clears throat> and this is your energy coordinate, this is your reactant and this is your product, you would model the first two reactions in this way because the energy is lower for the products. So that means, you know, 890 kilojoules uh, difference per mole reaction for the first one. And if you wanted to model the last reaction there, the endothermic change, if this is your reaction path, this is your energy, it would be modeled this way where the reactants are of lower energy to products and to get up to the products you have to add heat energy to um, the reactant to get it to the product and so in this case it is a positive 890 and the 890 would be written as a reactant in this case.